So now I wanted to tell you a horror story. What, um, this was a real life company. Uh, one of the admins at the company clicked on a bit of CryptoLocker. It encrypted their Windows file servers. It encrypted their Hyper-V VMs. Once it encrypted everything, it logged onto, they got onto their NetApp SAN and it scrubbed their snapshots. It then opened up a hole and the, uh, the actual cyber criminals managed to get into that admin's computer. And once they were there, they brute forced via RDP their way onto their backup server. On the backup server, they destroyed the backups, and because they were doing cloud backup as well, they destroyed their cloud backups. They reportedly paid in excess of $100,000 to get the key for the crypto locker. Okay, this is talking about file servers and, and backups, but just imagine the mayhem that uh, somebody could do on your Jamf Pro, on your Monkey server, on your Simeon server, whatever it is. Um, so things to learn from this. Well, hackers are sophisticated. It's no longer just uh, my, my father, a Nigerian prince, has died. Can I use your bank account? You know, they have product knowledge, these guys. They knew what a Veeam server was. They knew how to exploit it. <laughs> it is. No. Uh, and we talked to, uh, uh, Clay was talking earlier about uh, um, any beyond core networking. These guys, um, backup server was not sitting on the web. Nobody was like scanning ports and found an open RDP. It was on an internal secure VLAN, and you know you, your firewall won't save you. It's time to stop thinking of that. And I think a, a lot of people have Jamf Pros internally only for security. It, it's it's not really a, it's, it's an illusion. I think if it's internal only, and it could have been stopped so easily. You know there was absolutely no reason for them to be able to get onto their backup server at all. Um, there are some good resources. Uh, the Australian Signals Directorate uh, have got some great security mitigation strategies. And there was a really, really good talk at XWorld last year. It looked a bit like me, but a year younger, on <laughs> how to make your Mac a bit more secure. So um, what, what one step could they have done uh, and, and to stop the attack dead in its traps? Well, they could have used two-factor authentication. Uh, so I just want to have a look about um, how we can set that up on our servers. So we need a two-factor, this is to stop, uh, this is to use two-factor with a Linux server. There are a couple of, um, a few different ways of doing it. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about using Duo, which is what we use, but if you're using Ping, Okta, you can do it. Google also have a free authenticator, and in that very small writing, there is the ubiquitous DigitalOcean guide on how to set it up. Uh, it looks something like this. Uh, so I SSH on, Play for me. No. Why aren't you playing? PowerPoint. PowerPoint, I know. Play. Yeah, so I SSH onto my Jamf Pro using a search key. Up pops a little prompt from Duo saying, hey, would you like to log on? And bang, now I'm SSH'd on. And they have something very similar for Windows as well. Uh, it's trivial to implement. Please go back to work on Monday and do it if you don't have two-factor on your servers. Well, you could say, what about Jamf Pro itself? That could be sitting on the internet. Isn't that a bigger sort of uh, security case? Yeah, sure. Um, as you might know, Jamf Pro doesn't do two-factor. Instead, you need to use SAML and hopefully have a SAML provider that um, does two-factor. Uh, again, we're using Duo, but Ping, Okta does it. There is actually a couple of free ways of doing it. Um, I think... Um, Simple, simple SAML PHP is created by the guys behind the Norwegian Arnet, and that's just a, a free SAML provider, and you can get a, a two-factor module for a Google Authenticator as well. Uh, I think people have shied away from this because they thought it's particularly, it's, it's quite hard to do. Well, it, I'll just show you very quickly. I think it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, again, this is Duo. We go onto our Duo panel. We just uh, set up the, our domain on Duo, download a configuration file, go onto our SAML provider, which they call, we call the Duo DAG, which I just love the name of, upload that file, sets it up, and then on Jamf Pro, uh, we just go along, say, turn on single sign-on, let's use email, and change the identity provider to be another, and we just put in um, a metadata URL, which is where the SAML server tells the Jamf Pro server how to set it up. Um, so we get, that, get the metadata, pop that in, make a certificate because obviously you want to be nice and secure. And 
we're good. Doesn't look pretty hard to set up, so we'll we then just make ourselves a nice LDAP account, uh, which I will skip on because times are running out. And so then this is what it looks like. You log out of, you, you go to log in in Jamf Pro, immediately you'll bounce straight off to your SAML provider, does a two factor, hit approve quickly, John, come on. <laughs> And bang, you're logged into your Jamf Pro using two-factor. I know I'm out of time, but uh, my, my kids today at school had to dress up as what they wanted to be when they were older. My son wants to be a dragon. So <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>